A new Senate bill urges lawmakers to give local police the power to take away guns from abusers. And today, Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum suggested it to Oregon lawmakers. NBC5's Roma Villapicencio joins us now with more. Roma. Art, this is Senate Bill 525. It has to do with people facing a restraining order and domestic violence convictions. It would prohibit a person who is subject to restraining order or someone who is convicted of certain misdemeanor crimes like domestic violence to have their guns taken away from them. Local police would have the power to take those guns. We spoke to the N an NRA certified firearm instructor and he feels this won't stop criminals from doing what they want. They don't actually stop anyone from doing what they intend to do anyway. And they only address firearms. They don't address them using a baseball bat or gasoline in a lighter or any other violence. Violent people who intend to do harm will always figure out a way to do harm. According to the Oregonian, Attorney General Rosenblum said 20% of homicides in Oregon each year stem from domestic violence and two-thirds involve guns. She also said nationwide domestic violence assaults with guns are 12 times more likely to be fatal than ones without. In our case, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office would be in charge of dealing with restraining orders. We spoke to a captain who could only say they will follow the law if it passes. Live in the studio, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News.